Hello everybody, Brian Keeler here. Welcome to my uh, plein air workshop here in late August in Ithaca, New York. I'm just uh, finishing up the, uh, the drawing stage of this painting. I'm going to recap what I've been explaining to my students that are behind me here. Maybe you can pan over there to, so you can see the, the students here. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> what, I, what I endeavored to do here is explain about my uh, composition and um, I use this uh, triangulation. You can probably come in a little bit closer if you will. And I've set up this um, arrangement here somewhat. I moved the nymphs around so taking uh, my artistic license. But I set it up to have this kind of triangulation between the uh, two nymphs and the cupolas, what I'm considering the, uh, the main elements here. And um, there's an adage in painting that uh, if possible, you should have like one. Uh, main actor if, if you can uh, uh, arrange and orchestrate your painting that way and so what I'm considering the main actor is this nymph that's in the foreground so this is a landscape painting class but in a way it's kind of a figure painting because I'm using these uh, sculpted uh, figurative nymphs here and the uh, house so it's, it has an architectural element and uh, the landscape also but uh, the nymphs are at two uh, levels here this one is in the, the foreground and so we have this uh, depth or spatial relationship between the uh, the nymphs, and then the uh, the cupola is a, a supporting actor, as I call it. But then the uh, the light is uh, an important part too. It's going to have this uh, early morning light that's streaking across here, and these uh, cast shadows that I put in here. And um, another aspect that I explained with the students was using horizontal and vertical plumb lines to uh, assess how things are, are lined up here. For example, I can put a horizontal plumb line across uh, to see how the nymphs' heads were arranged. This uh, one might go up a, a tad. It's just a little bit uh, uh, higher than the one in the foreground. And then um, vertical plumb lines, too, to see how things are lined up. Uh, for example, the side of the house here uh, in comparison. Uh, even though I move around a little bit, it, it changes that uh, relationship somewhat. And uh, what else? We talked about perspective. And um, Ed, one of the students here, pointed out uh, I took some artistic license and leveled off the, uh, the roof lines. But theoretically, uh, we're kind of at a two-point perspective. And these lines would sort of increase a little bit uh, going uh, so the uh, vanishing point would be way over here. And uh, then the other vanishing point is uh, right about down here. This uh, one um, eaves trough here is kind of pointing to it. So oh, the first thing that I did was put in the eye level. And this is my eye level here, which is right about at the, uh, at the hips of, the, of that. So the uh, uh, vanishing point would be right about there. And I don't have to con uh, consider that too much because there's not a, orthogonal lines, but it's always good to, to know where that is. And then this line up here would converge down to it also. And so this is the uh, the drawing stage. It's taken me, uh, I don't know, about an hour to, to do this. And uh, if I were on my own, I would spend quite a bit more time. But uh, uh, for the, our purposes of plein air painting, that's probably adequate and sufficient for the uh, start of a, of a painting here. So. Uh, all right, thanks so much for your attention.